I'm just gonna wait until this starts playing on my stream, and then we're gonna. Oh, there we go. All right, everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? It's been a while. I hope you guys are enjoying something that isn't my videos, because I've been making that many videos lately. However, today we are doing something with a video, and it's gonna be awesome. It's Evan's Easy Skyrim translations and explanations for Skyrim. We're doing Skyrim reboot number ten. Uh, I was working with a student of mine on a certain section of the scene where Ulfric and Gullimar are deciding what they want if they want to get the uh, they want to search for the chest or not the chest the crown or not. And I just figured we'd translate the heck out of that, show you guys a few new fun words and some grammar points. It's gonna be a pretty heavy episode, so let's get going. Uh, my picture is gonna be in the way a little bit, but oh well, can't do much about that. Eventually, I will have to move it though. Check out the website, evansiesjapanese.com. Become a patron over at my patron site. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter, even there as well. Even on Reddit. Just go to the website and it'll give you all my, uh, all my contact info that I want to give out. Alright, why is this not... There we go. Alright, so, in the video, at 2.23, uh, I believe this is Ulfric talking. Gaki domo. Gaki domo ga trigu no o no o. This is Gyokuza. Gyokuza ni no seru kike no okase to you. So, uh, noka. This is the sentence that he's saying. You can read it and you can watch it and you can listen to it on the video. We're going to do that soon here. Uh, the kanjis here. Onna, onna, lady, woman. Gyokuza, gyokuza, throne. Ni no seru, nani, uh, it, uh, something. Ni no seru is to, to ride upon, to get on, to put on, to put something on. This should be to put something on. Kiken is a risk. Kiken, kiken. And then a uh, kikeno okase, you see I have it underlined and it looks pretty ghetto with the under, under, underlining because um, congratulations Google for their ability to link all the words together properly. If I put it, if I put an English space in between Japanese, it makes the size of the cursor different. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, kikeno okase is, okasu is to venture to brave, so kikeno okasu is to take a risk. Do you, uh, you want me to risk doing something? Toyu no ka. Alright, so we have it color coded. We have this light green. You're telling me, technically there's no you here, but this is you're telling me, Tuyunoka? Tuyunoka? Is it that you're telling me this? You're actually telling me this? You know, Tuyunoka? Is that what you're saying? Tuyunoka? To you is just a quotation, so all of this is technically being quoted, like in your quotation marks, for you, which is to speak, to say. Uh, you know, ka. This is the no is saying, uh, at, giving an explanation or asking for an explanation. Here it's uh, asking for an explanation, no ka. And this is a question. So, are you saying something? And the thing that he's saying is this whole chunk of Magunga right here. I don't know what Magunga means, but it sounds like it's bad. I don't know. It sounds like something Carsey the Clown would say. So, the actual verb is kiken o kase, or it could also be no seru. Um, it's kind of tricky. But let's go from no seru. So, to put somebody on a throne or something like that. Uh, so, this is... Uh, gyokuza, I, I, I always want to say Oza. I think Oza is a decent translation for this, but this one's Gyokuza. Uh, I think if it doesn't have this little slash right there, it's Oza, because that's the kanji for king. And they mean the same thing. Anyway, Gyokuza no seru. Uh, put somebody on the throne. Get somebody on the throne. To have somebody be sitting upon the throne. To sit upon the throne. Uh, and what are we going to put on the throne? What are we, what, who are we going to get to ride on the, th the throne? We use the O particle. Torigu no onna. So, Trig's woman. Trig's woman. I don't know if that's really being rude or not, but it sounds kind of rude to me. Trigg's lady, Trigg's woman. Uh, Trigg's woman is Elisif the Fair, the Jarl of Solitude, for those of you who are interested in the, in the lore of the actual game. Who is going to put, who is going to put Elisif the Fair on the throne? It's going to be the Gaki Domome. Gaki is, uh, he's in Katakana, it's kind of a rude way of saying kids. Uh, Gaki Domo pluralized, so those kids. So those kids are going to put uh, Elisif on the throne. But this is a verb directly mo jumping into a noun, Kiken, which is a risk. So this is like take the risk. Take the risk of putting of those kids putting her on the throne. Are you telling me to take the risk of those kids putting her on the throne? You're telling me to run the risk of those kids putting up. Oh, that should be pudding, because those kids put... That's just me not knowing English, quite frankly. Are you telling me to run the risk of those kids putting Torig's woman on the throne? 
And that's what Ulfric saying to him. So let's read it one more time. Gaki domo ga torigudo no gyokuza ni no seru kiken o kase to iu no ka. And my pronunciation is a little bit weird because I didn't practice saying this out loud that much. And it's quite, it's a, it's a little bit of a weird sentence, I gotta admit. I'm not, even in English, you're telling me to run the risk? So, Gaki domo ga torigudo onna o gyokuza ni no seru kiken o kase to iu no ka. Let's hear Ulfric communicate this exciting sentence to us via the actual video that I made. Give it a few and I hope this isn't deafening. It should be coming up right here, so get your ear holes ready. That was a long one. I hope you guys are. Gaki domo ga trigu no onna o gyokuza ni no seru kiken o kase tiyu no ka? I don't know if I could spit that sentence out without thinking about it ahead of time. That's a pretty intricate sentence. Let's listen to it one more time. Gaki domo ga trigu no onna o gyokuza ni no seru kiken o kase tiyu no ka? Yeah, that bass is pretty heavy. Maybe I gotta lower my bass. Somebody was asking if I did a bass boost. I don't know how to adjust my bass levels. Uh, maybe there's something I can do. Okay, so hopefully you're able to hear what he said. If you weren't, sorry. <laughs> Let's jump on to the next panel. The next thing that he says. Actually, right after this, Ulfric jumps into the next sentence. He says, Alright, so. Let's look at the kanji. Kanojo, Kanojo, that woman, lady, woman. This is a little bit nicer than onna, if I'm not mistaken. Gin is silver, so gin no is a silver something. Sa, uh, oh, I didn't have this kanji in here. My mistake, I missed that one. This is sa ra, sa ra. It means plate or platter. Uh, so, Kanojo wa skaeru mo gin no sara ni. This is, once again, no seru. And I asked the Japanese native speaker, why is this no seru different than this no seru? And why do they have two different kanjis that both mean essentially the same thing? He said, when I see this kanji, it's mostly food related. So, no seru, to put food on a plate. So, to put on, food on a plate. This kanji right here is watasu, watashimasu, watashite. This is to hand something over to, 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 to give it to somebody, to give something to somebody. So, yeah, okay, sorry, I thought I saw something. Okay, so, kanojo, lady, woman, gin, silver, no seru, to put something on, food related, watasu, hand over. So, so kanojo wa, that lady is the main subject, she, skyrim wo, that's the object we're talking about. She's gonna verb skyrim. What's the verb gonna be? The verb is gonna be no sete, to put onto something. She's gonna put skyrim onto something. The ni particle is gonna tell us where she's gonna put it, which. I don't know, that sounds like an insult. Yeah, I'll tell you where to put it. Hey! Gin no sara. Gin no sara. Gin no a silver sara ni. So sara, sara is a, a plate, and then the ni is telling us where they're going to be putting it on. Just just like in this past one, we had gyokuza ni no seru. Here we have sara ni no seru. So a silver platter, a silver plate. Kanojo wa Skyrim wo gin no sara ni no, uh, no sete. She, she will place Skyrim onto a silver plate platter. Elf ni watashite shimao. Watashite is to pass over, and who are they going to hand it over to? The ni particle tells us to whom they will hand it over. Elf ni watashite shimao. This shimao is off freakingly. Ah, ah, I don't want that to happen. I'm upset about this happening. Watashite shimao zo. This zo is, uh, I'm a guy and I'm being blunt about it. Kanojo wa skaeru mo gin no sara ni nosete ni elf ni watashite shimao zo. She would freakin, the freakin sort of the shimao feeling. Would put is the uh, the verb right there. Skyrim is the object on a silver plate, silver platter, and pass it and hand it over to the elves. It is Skyrim because we're smart enough to remember that we don't have to mention the direct object more than once. All right, I'm going to jump out of here. Boom! And we're going to listen to that super exciting one more time. Here we go. Here, com here comes 227. <laughs> All right, let's hear that one more time. 2.27, maybe I can go back just a little bit more. All right. Yeah, we got some reverb because we're in, because Skyrim did a good job with like the, the echoing in a chamber hall. Uh, so it's a little bit difficult to hear. 
Plus, he's got a really deep voice, and maybe my computer is making it even deeper than it should be. Um, so just try one more time. I'll try to. There we go. I'll try to say it right before he does. Kanojo wa skyrim wo gin no sare ni. Here it comes. Kanojo wa skyrim wo gin no sare ni. No sete elf ni wo tashite shimau zo. Kanojo wa skyrim wo gin no sare ni no sete elf ni wo tashite shimau zo. Were you able to hear it? I hope you're able to hear it. This is fantastic listening practice for you. These are some fun words, some fun grammar, an exciting subject if you ask me, and it's good listening practice. Reading, listening, and all that sort of good stuff. The only thing that you're not getting out of this is uh, speaking and writing, but you can always write this down if you want to. So go ahead and write this down on a sheet of paper when I'm gone. And if you want to speak it, Look at what you wrote, look at what's written, and just say it out loud. You know, you can get every single aspect of your language with these awesome, amazing videos that I create for you. Consider becoming a donor or just a one time donation. Or uh, if you want to buy any of my Sailor Moon pictures that I've been drawing, you know, just uh, shoot a thing and I'll say, uh, I can send one out to you and you can donate for that. Anyway, here it comes. <laughs> You can hear he's kind of upset, and that's where that shimao is coming in. She's gonna uh, rapidly do something. All right, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, F11. Actually, do I need to? Oh, look at that. I can... oh, no, F. Oh, F11. Is there a button for the present? What's the button for present? Present from the beginning. Oh, I guess I can't. Maybe F5. Oh, that probably refreshes it, cause I I understand how things work. All right, never mind. All right, so. Eh, whatever. We'll just jump up from here. Oh, I'm taking forever to load. Evan should not hit the F5 button. All right, next one up. We got Takara Kosoda. This is um Galmar talking. Takara Kosoda. Uh, th this is a sort of a strange statement. Dakara is um is and because of that. So he's kind of like because of this, because of this. Yeah, Dakara. So so Kosoda. You know that's everything. Uh, this, what he's saying here is, sound, is, is kind of a specialized thing all on itself. Dakara you kosoda. Know, it's kind of like that's what I'm saying, you know. Because, because that's true, we need to do something about it. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. This is kind of a set phrase, just learn it. Dakara kosoda. You know, that, that's what I'm freaking saying, you know. Okan ga oma. Oh, sorry. Okan, Okan crown. We're talking about the jagged crown now. Okan ga omae. Omae is you, and it's kind of a blunt, familiar way of saying you. You don't want to say this to your boss unless you really know the guy really well. Shucho, shucho. Your claim, your assertion. Shome is a proof. Shome sudo is to prove, is to give evidence towards. The te kuredu says it will benefit us. It will do something for us. It will do something for us. The te kuredu. For us is what this is. I have it underlined for a reason. All right, so dakara kosoda. That's what I'm saying. Okan ga, the crown. Omae no shucho wo, your claim. Shome is kuredu, will give us proof of. Will give us proof Give us proof is will prove for us, will prove for us, give us proof of. Those are equally acceptable translations. The most accurate one will be uh, will give, will, will prove for us because we want to keep show me sudo as a verb. Will give proof to for us. Uh, sorry, that's uh, give proof. No, that's the, will prove for us. Sorry, that's still as a verb. Prove for us. So the crown will prove for us your claim. The crown will provide evidence for us of your claim. That's what I'm saying. The crown will prove for us your claims. Great. Yeah. Provide evidence, prove. Um, show me. Show me by itself is evidence. So proof, evidence, same thing. Alright, let's hear Galmar say this. If you have any questions, boom, we got live chat. You can type it in. I would enjoy hearing from you guys. Here we go. Let's see what Galmar says. Let's see if his pronunciation is better than mine. I mean, I'm a six foot tall, six foot tall, bald white guy who's lived in Japan for four years, and the voice actor here, he probably lived in Japan his own life, but I think I might have better pronunciation. I'm kidding, obviously. His pronunciation is gonna kick my ass. Here we go. Dakara kosoda. Dakara kosoda. Dakara kosoda. Repeat after me. Dakara kosoda. Dakara kosoda. Dakara kosoda. Dakara kosoda, dakara kosoda, dakara kosoda. Alright. Okan ga omae no shichou o shoumei shite kureru. 
王冠がお前の主張を証明してるぜしてくれる。Oh, I, I think I just went back way too far. Boom, let's go to here. そうだ。Oh, だからこそだ。王冠がお前の主張を証明してくれる。王冠がお前の主張を証明してくれる。証明してくれる。証明してくれる。Alright, so hopefully you're able to hear that. Hopefully you're able to hear that. Let's listen one more time. Get your listening mojo on. We'll go back to about here. We'll hear a little bit of what he was saying. <laughs> エルフに渡してしまうぞ。エルフに渡してしまうぞ。だからこそだ。だからこそだ。王冠がお前の主張を証明してくれる。Here we go。王冠がお前の主張を証明してくれる。Exciting. Sorry, when I look down, I hope I didn't blind you with my bald head. All right, great. Let's keep on trucking. Boing. Okay. Next one.、Uh, Alfred retorts with 王冠が王を作るのではない。Okan, crown, o king, tsukuru to make.、Uh, this is the classic phrase, a crown doesn't make a king.、Um, this is the classic, you know, kotowaza in English. It isn't really a, 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 a proverb in English. It's not really a proverb in Japanese because this was taken from English and thrown into Japanese. So、um, this, isn't, this is an exact translation and it's not quite as familiar as it is in Japan as it might be in English. Oh, so, Okan is the subject. Okan, God, the crown does the verb. The verb is tsukuru, make. And then what are they going to make?、Uh, o is the king. So, this is ba- right up to here. Super easy grammar. Subject, object, verb. No problem, just weird vocabulary. The tricky, voc-、uh, the tricky um, blah, 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 grammar is the no de wa nai. This is just no des in the negative, which is n des, which is the extended predicate. I have a video. If you go to my,、uh, my individual lessons on my website, you can check out the extended predicate. It's probably like verb videos number, whatever the heck it is. Evan, whoops, Evans. Let's check out what we got.、Uh, if we go to individual grammar lessons, boom, you go to verb conjugations. Yeah, verb conjugations, and you go down to. The passive, I'm going up. Oh, no, these aren't actually、uh, verb conjugations, are they? No, 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 I'm sorry. These are.、Um, that would be probably particles under the no particle. So check out the no particle, sorry.、Um, and then. Da, 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 da. The extended predicate, there it is. So it's all the way down over here in the no particle.、Uh, that's going to be the extended predicate. What that means is that he's explaining something. It is a certain way. Something is a certain way. Is is the des, but this was is not. And then this is it, it is not. It is not that. It is not that the crown makes the king.、Um, so that, that's literally what it translates to. I'm explaining to you that that's not the way something is. A crown doesn't make a king. Notice that the does is part of the skudu because does and make together. But in English, we have to put the negative of the extended predicate in the middle between does and make. I'm explaining to you. That's what this is doing. It is not that. The crown makes the king. It's not that the crowns make kings. Oh, yeah, this could even be plural、uh, if you wanted to. It's not that crowns make kings. Both are fantastic、uh, translations, obviously, because I made them. <laughs> All right, let's、uh, see if he actually says what I think he says. Oh, sorry, I want to point out with no dewa nai as opposed to no jinai or n jinai. Um, he's being a little bit more formal, maybe a little bit more pro- pro- proverb esque. Um, then he has to be. People do talk like this, but these guys are chummy and they probably be saying stuff like, Skurun Janai, something like that. But、um, especially if you're the freaking king. So let's hear him say the no d e w a n a i This is a bit more like a proverb. This is almost him being like more preachy. O kanga o o tsukuru no dewanai. O kanga o o o. So that's interesting to hear o o followed directly by o, the particle o. Uh, let's hear that one more time. Sorry, maybe I need to go back a little bit more. Doink. Here we go. 王冠がお前の主張を証明してくれる。王冠が王を作るのではない。王冠が王を作るのではない。王冠が王。王冠が王を作るのではない。
。王冠が作るのではない。作るのではない。作るのではない。作るのではない。作るのではない。作るのではない。作るのではない。作るのではない。Yeah,、uh, he talks fast there. Hope he can keep up. I don't know how many people are watching me. Does it tell me? Why is it not telling me how many people are watching? Maybe no one's watching because they all hate me. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, well, anyway,、uh, instead of me worrying about that, let's continue on with the lesson. Herp, derp. Boom. And then、uh, Gallimar is a little bit taken aback. He says, Yeah, しかしこれは So, yeah, no.、Uh, no, that's not what I was saying. But, uh, but uh, this is. He, he's stammering. He's a little bit like,、uh, That's not what I meant, buddy. Come on, I'm a cool guy. Oh, can I draw on this? Whoa, that's trippy. Yeah. しかしこれは<laughs> Wee! Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll have to use that in the future.、Uh, not right now. Yeah, しかしこれは、uh, No, but, but this is. No, but, but this, this,、uh, this, this is a little bit different. He's, he's trying to sputter out. This is a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, しかしこれは、uh, Yeah, しかしこれは Alright, then he's saying, if the crown even exists, we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, Moshi, if, and because he's saying Moshi, his extended predicate here, no des, he turns this into、uh, the,、um, the, the, the conditional, de areru, de, de areba. So when you tabe, tabe,、uh, tabereba,、uh, nomeba, Uh, ikeba, things like that. Areba. This is your eba. If, this is once again if. If something is true. If it is that, and then we, Moshi is here to further emphasize the idea of if.、Uh, they do that,、uh, you know, if, if it exists. So, Moshi, blah, 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 no dewa areba, no de areba. This is the extended predicate just as a if sort of feeling into it. So, if, if it is that. Jitsuzai suru. Jitsuzai suru. Jitsuzai is the kanji. Suru is the verb.、Uh, Jitsuzai is really exists. Like, does it actually exist? Like, Santa Claus wa jitsuzai suru? Does the Santa Claus actually exist? Notice in English, exist is kind of like a state of being. She exists in the airport. Whereas in Japanese, we're using suru, which is almost like an active verb. So, once again, Japanese verbs are different than English. The na here is just him wondering to himself. If, it is, if, it, if, if it's even that it exists, you know, if it, you know, if it even it freaking exists. Moshi jitsuzai suru no de areba ne. Sorry, Moshi jitsuzai suru no de areba na. Let's hear him say it. He's got a better pronunciation than me. Shikashi, kore wa. Moshi jitsuzai suru no de areba na. Moshi jitsuzai suru no de areba na. I keep wanting to throw wa there, sorry. Yeah, shikashi, kore wa. Oh, so I do have some. Got to go. Bye bye. Da- Is that Dagniel? Don't worry, man. I'll be up on、uh, YouTube later. All right. All right. Hopefully, his message. Maybe I should turn off the chat log. Is that going to interfere with、uh, the presentation at all? Ah, nothing too bad. You guys can handle that. Nobody ever talks on here. So when, it, when that starts happening, I'll worry about that later. All right. Uh, okay, so maybe I should have listened to that more times, but you can always rewind it on YouTube. Here we go. Sonzai suru, sonzai suru, to exist. This is like something actually does exist. Jitsuzai is like, does it exist? Really? Like, really? It actually exists? Whereas sonzai suru is more like, it does exist.、Uh, ware ware we, it's a fancier term. Tarashi, correct,、um, not mistaken. Koto is stuff and it nounifies word. It, it turns verbs and adjectives into nouns. Shomei suru, we already encountered this. Give proof of. Okay, so sonzai suru, it does exist. Sonzai suru, it does exist.、Uh, we're talking about the crown, obviously. Soste, and this is a conjunction. Going further or continuing on with that. Ware ware ga, we, tarashi koto o. Watashi, ware ware ga tarashi. This is a sentence. This is a sentence. Watashi wa. Ware ware ga tarashi. We are correct. And then normally there'd be a des here, but he's using it like a clause. So we have a noun directly after. Ware ware ga tarashi koto. The stuff of us being correct. So us being correct. We are correct. And we're turning into a noun. So you see how it's a noun now? Because we threw koto at the end of it. Ware ware ga tarashi koto. Now it's a noun. Because we threw koto after an e adjective, it turns into a noun. And we can use an o particle to turn into a, the object of a sentence. 
我々が正しいことを that we are correct, that we are correct is how you translate just up to the O particle. That we are correct, the crown will. Now, the crown isn't in the sentence, but we all know that's what he's talking about. So, say, going, it exists, the crown exists. Going further, the crown will provide evidence, Shoumei Suru will provide evidence of what? That we are correct. The crown exists, Zonzai Suru. So, say, what are you talking about? Shoumei Suru. Going further, the crown will provide evidence that we are correct. Now, that is being directly, is used to directly modify another noun, Shimboru. It is a symbol that shows that we're saying the truth, what we're saying, that we are correct. It is a symbol that sh gives evidence that what we're saying is correct. Uh, sorry, what we're saying. I'm, I'm being loose with my translation. Um, the, it is a symbol that gives evidence that we're correct. There we go, that we are correct. The des, once again, is not there because um, we're speaking casual and it's a clause. If it's a clause, we do not add da. Okay, so now this symbol has ni naru after it. It will become, it becomes, it is. It, it almost means it's, it is because the crown, if it does exist, it, it won't become a symbol. It is a symbol, right? You know, because if it does exist, it is, a, you know, it shows that we're correct. So it, it will become a symbol. Ni, oh, sorry, naru is to become, sorry. Become, and then the thing that it turns into is ni. Uh, okay, so this hazada at the end. It's expected, or it can be expected. It should be that way. Um, we can all assume that it's going to be a certain way. Hazu des. We, uh, hazu is a noun, and so we end up with des. Naru is modifying noun. Uh, des. Uh, hazu, sorry. Naru is modifying. It is that it will become a symbol that proves that we are correct. Wah! So when you add a... Uh, an e adjective, a, a na adjective directly in, or a verb directly into a noun, such as shome suru shimboru or tarashi koto or naru hazu. We use the, the English that. We call them, um, uh, what do we call Relative pronouns. We call those relative pronouns. If you don't know what they are, check them out. Relative pro pronouns. There is a man. I see a man. He is eating a sandwich. I see a man who is eating a sandwich. That's what that who is. This is what these, this, the Japanese does that little who thing with verbs going directly into nouns or e adjectives going directly into nouns. So once again, it exists, sonzai suru, soshite, and going further, warwara ga tarashi, we are correct. Koto, that we are correct. So that we are correct. Shoumei suru, proving, I have it here as proving because I want it to be a noun. It could be that proves, a symbol that proves, or a symbol proving, same, same exact meaning, a symbol that proves we are correct, or a symbol proving that we are correct, exact same meaning in English, different grammar. Ninaru, it will become, it would become. Uh, actually, a would, should, why is that blue? Oh, that's the hazuda, that's the hazuda. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine, yeah, yeah. This blue is the hazu for would become, and this blue is the symbol. I must have screwed up on my colors. Let's listen to him say that sentence. Oh, sorry, let me read it one more time. Sonzai suru. So, shite, warware ga tarashii koto wo shoumei suru shimbori ni naru hazu da. Alright, let's hear him say that. Sonzai suru. So, shite, warware ga tarashii koto wo shoumei suru shimbori ni naru hazu da. Ni naru hazu da. Alright, let's go back to about there. Maybe a little bit further back. Where does he actually begin talking? That's the important part. Boom, there it was. I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm an idiot. Let's go back to... Is this good? Nope, we gotta go back to 248, maybe? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. One more time. You can almost hear it in his voice. Almost sounds like it's all one noun. He, he doesn't really um he doesn't really take a breath and his 
it all it sounds like one noun. One more time. Here it comes. Wareware ga tadashi koto o shoumei suru symbol ni naru hazu da. Wareware ga tadashi koto o shoumei suru symbol ni naru hazu da. Did you hear how it sounded like it was one noun? And that's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. That, that entire chunk of stuff was one noun. 522. I gotta get going soon to earn some more money. Let's keep on trucking. Sore ga tongatta o kanda. That is the... This actually means sharpened tongata. Tongaru is, is sharp. Tong, this is a... Uh, this is like... The, use tongaru as like it's an adjective. Ogan is uh, your crown, da. It is, that is the crown, the, the, the tongata crown. Uh, really quickly, tongaru or togaru, both are acceptable readings of this. I didn't know which one was correct. They say tongata, if I'm not mistaken, tongata okan. This actually means the sharp crown. In the, Japan, in the English version, they call it the, ja the jagged crown. Down here, the jagged crown. Tongata can mean sharpened, thus translation is a bit off. It's not actually the sharpened crown, it's actually uh, the jagged crown. All right. So, sore ga, so, subject, complement, des. No tricky grammar whatsoever. Actually, the, there is a bit tricky grammar. We're using a verb to directly modify a noun, which is actually somewhat advanced. The crown that is sharpened. The crown that it was sharpened. So, the sharpened crown, the jagged crown, okay? That, that actually is a little bit tricky, but treat this as one noun with this as an adjective and your brain will wrap right around it, even if you're like Japanese too, you know, high school Japanese too. Shucho ya muto. Oh, sorry. Shucho is um, chieftains, the jarls. Muto yori. The amut. This is a word in English that we don't use very often. Amuts when you get together and you decide who's gonna be the next king. So uh, it's actually it's actually called a moot. Um, I didn't write it down, but it's actually M O O T moot. Muto yori, uh, so more than, sarani, even more so, mai, mai is earlier, before, in this situation it means earlier. Mai no jidai, jidai is an era or a time period, jidai, era or time period, no mono da. Mono just means thing or stuff, this can also be used to nounify verbs. Let's go through the grammar. Uh, so we already did this one, woo! Shucho ya muto yori. So things, this ya is things like moot and shuchos, uh, yarls. So um, it's like the toe particle, but it, it's more like in things like this and things, things that are related to this that I'm not listening. Listing, not listening, sorry, listing. Things that I'm not listing that are beyond moots and your, uh, yarls. Yori, this is um, more than, you're comparing something. Yori mai means earlier, earlier than moots and yarls. And this Saranese emphasis, it means uh, era even before, even before, like this whole thing right here translates to, in English, even before moots and yarls. How does the grammar work? We, we pick the nouns, shucho ya muto, yori, um, more than, or it, we're adding uh, the, the er to an adjective, uh, cuter, faster, cleaner, sexier. Okay, so sarani is just adding emphasis, and then the actual adject adjective in question is mai, which is actually a noun in Japanese, but it's in English it works like an, an adjective, early. So earlier, much earlier than moots and yarls. And then we have no particle to connect it with the jidai, which is a time period, so a time period that is much earlier than moots and yarls. No monoda. It is a thing that is of an era that is much, much earlier than moots and yarls. If you followed along my little red dot here, woo, 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 you should have been able to figure that out. So let's read it one more time. Sore ga tongato okanda. Shucho ya muto yori. This is a picture of the jagged crown, isn't it sexy? If you watch the video, uh, Reboot 10, my character finds the jagged crowns and sports it, and she's like, yeah, I'm the king now, or the queen, I guess, because she's got lady parts. All right, here we go. Let's listen to What's His Butt talk about it. Here we go. Let me see, let me, let's listen one more time, see if he says Tongata or Togata. Maybe I misheard it. 
He says Togata. Okay, my mistake. He says Togata. However, Tongaru is, I'm not joking, another pronunciation for the exact same kanji, and it looks exactly the same. Togata Okanda. Okanda. Shucho ya muto yori, sara ni mae no jira no mono da. Shucho ya muto yori, sara ni mae no jidai no mono da. Sara ni mae no jidai no mono da. Three, is that good enough? Alright, here we go. Sore ga togata okanda. Sorry, I totally just interrupted. Sore ga togata okanda. Sore ga togata okanda. Shucho ya muto yori. Shucho ya muto yori. Shucho ya muto yori. Alright, hopefully you're able to hear that. Since I'm running out of time for learning money. Oh, actually, I'm not doing that bad. Let's listen to that again then. Hey, I got a little bit of time. Alright, let's do one more time. We're about right there. Boom. Listen again. Oh, that was from memory. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta do it from memory. Alright, last sentence that we're going to go over. This one is a doozy. I'm going to close the picture of my sexy face. Sorry, I hope that you will forgive me for hiding away my beautiful face. Just so that you can read it, because this has a crud ton of words on it. Edit scene. Let's see, video capture device. Okay, there we go. I'm still here. Even though I disappeared, I'm still here. I still exist. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, let's wee! All right, we got a bunch of kanji. Let's do the kanji first. Oh, we've already encountered. Oh, is king. Teki, teki, enemies, opponents. Jibun, oneself. Jibun can be myself or yourself or anyone self. One self. Themselves, yourself, myself, his self, herself, someone self. Mai, we learned my earlier as uh early we learned my earlier as earlier. <laughs> However, it could also mean in front of, in front of or before. This was a new verb for me, like a million percent new verb. I had trouble finding it because in the sentence it's hiza mazu kase. Um this is actually the um Oh, what do we call that? That's the this is the making someone do some form of the verb. I forget what that's called actually. The making somebody do something form of the verb. So make somebody do the verb. Which is aseru. Aseru. So the I, I thought maybe this was the te form of it, and it was kasu, and I kept looking that up and I couldn't find it, and I was like, maybe it's mazukasu. It's actually the ku is the plain form. So he's a he's a mazuka a mazuku sorry he's a mazuku he's a mazuku is to kneel he's a mazuku you can see kneel uh he's a is the word for knee mazuku might be a verb in it on its own i didn't bother looking that up i should have hitobito people you see the kanji for hito and then here's the repetitive kanji hitobito people i suru is um to love to love uh however this in this sentence it's the i sareru which is the potential which you should go to my website and watch this awesome video that I just got done making a little bit ago. Oops, learn Japanese individual grammar lessons. This is actually in the verb section. I 1 trillion percent demand right now that you go to this, the verb passive, the, the verb passive form uh, or video that I made and watch the heck out of it. Watch it nine times. That's a very important one to learn and it's going to clarify a lot of why the knee particle is so screwy. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, okay. Presenter view, the presenter view. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll check it out later. Okay, so, um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba okay, so we're in eyes to do, to love. Zetai tekina. Zetai is absolute. Tekina turns something into an adjective, and it's a na adjective, that's why there's a na there. Zetai tekina, absolute, and there's gonna be a noun after it. Ken ryoku. Ken ryoku is authority or power. Ken ryoku, authority or power. Uh, so the authority or power. Um, yeah, okay, so hokuru is to brag, to boast, or to be proud of something. Uh, and then koro is another way of saying time or occasion or those days, sono koro. Sometimes it can be pronounced goro. Um, it's not quite as strong as jidai. Jidai seems more like an era or a huge time period. Uh, koro is more like, you know, back in the good old days, sono koro wa. Sono koro wa yokata ne. All right. The sentence we're making is, it was a time when kings made enemies bow before them. So make somebody bow. He's a, he's a mazukase. 
before them, in front of them, Maeni. They were the kings were loved. I sided. It is the passive to be loved by or from the people. He debito kara I sided to be loved by the people, and boasted nazir hokoteita the past tense hokoteita absolute authority zetai tekina absolute kenroku authority o hokoteita to so here's your verb hokoteita were bragging what were they bragging about the o particle tells us. Zetai tekina kenroku, the absolute authority. The na here is him wondering to himself, so to speak. He's not really wondering to himself, but he's saying it out loud, not expecting confirmation. And then the no is, I'm explaining. So he's saying that in the previous one we had, that's the jagged crown. It is, it is a thing from an earlier time period before you moots and yarls. When kings made enemies bow before them, kneel before them, they were loved by the people. And so he's describing the type of time period that the jagged crown is from. And he's trying to explain that this is why we need it. This isn't just a crown. This is the jagged crown. All right, the togatto kan. Hito pito kara, I started to be loved by the people. Hito pito the people, kara from the people. I started to be loved by the people. Zetai tekina kenroku hokotata, boast, boast of absolute power. Once again, we have a verb modifying a noun. Koro is a noun, so a time period, uh, the the times of when. Ki- the times of kings boasting of their absolute authority, being loved, being loved by the people, and forcing enemies to kneel in front of them. This jibun is the O's jibun. Um, I wish we had some. Oh, hello! How you doing, Shady Endless? Sorry, I didn't see you there. I gotta look over. Um, that is the end of the presentation. Now let's listen to this guy belt out this awesome sentence. Remember, check out the passive. Check out my website, you know, donate some money. Um, really quickly, uh, well, I'll do that afterwards. Let's listen to him say the sentence. Here we go. Listen again. おが敵を自分の前に誘わせかせ。人々から愛される。人々から愛される。絶対的な権力を誇っていた頃のな。頃のな、頃のな。あ、だすすの王が敵を自分の前に誘わせかせ人々から愛される絶対的な権力を誇っていた頃のなのなのなのなおっしゃいしてがんばくレッツゴーバックだわ王が敵を自分の前に誘わせかせ人々から愛される絶対的な権力を
Um, so you can, I think I'm just going to sell some of these also. So if you just want to buy them individually, I might do that. That way you can support me and you'll get something fun for it. Uh, and you don't have to like, you know, if you don't want to subscribe for like months on months on months, you don't have to. When you're at Learn Japanese, there's actually direct lessons that I made a long time ago. Um, I will probably eventually work on this, but I think the live lessons are more what people are interested in. Skyrim. I got a whole bunch of uh, Skyrim stuff that you can check out. All the videos are on YouTube. I don't know why this is taking so long to load. Individual grammar lessons. Um, I'm trying to make like an actual just like encyclopedia of Japanese grammar. Slowly but surely it's coming along. JLPT N5 practice. We got like an entire test or two of JLPT N5 on YouTube you can check out. Translations with me, blah, 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 blah. Check it all out. Uh, thank you very much. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Oh, as a note, your stream title still says Quest to Gold. Yeah, I just always forget to change the title. Yeah, it's not Quest to Gold. This is actually Skyrim Translations. Sorry about that. I should have fixed that. I got to get going. I got a student waiting on me. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace out. This will be on YouTube soon. <laughs> Bye.